Arboglyph. Arboglyph. Achievement. So, what's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out, okay? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this Hydrate. is Tyler. Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. <laughs> Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be... Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm going to take Dr. Torres' statement. You're just going to ignore me? <laughs> okay. Come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's I in the best I love this haircut. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. Good. Great. He has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. E. Uh, hello, kids. Hello, hey. middle-aged adult. He speaks. Everything all right? How's Della oh, shit. <laughs> so far? Be knee deep I'm not practice. supposed to be talking to him. A few days? <laughs> That's optimistic. It's like been good to see Allison. Before. She's been talking nonstop about oh, you lately. Huh. I know she's yes. happy to have you here. You hey, been meaning to say, Allison showed us that article you wrote for the Juno Daily last year. <laughs> you were spot it? on. The state like needs to be giving way more money good. to youth centers. Fireweed was lucky to have you. Pay's not great, but she gets to see the kids every day, so... Thanks. I spent a lot of time fighting for more outdoor hey. activities. Made some enemies in the administration over that one. But the first time those kids summited Mount Roberts, man, they were so proud. It felt great. I know exactly what you mean. I um, volunteer sometimes with the JCE. You know, give lectures about police work, lead group talks when I can. Yeah. JCE? You know, Juno Coalition for Equality. Oh. Oh. Wait, really? That's awesome. Yeah, and I don't mean to preach, but the kids in those groups, be it Fireweed or the JCE, they need people who really understand them. People who know where they're coming from and will fight for what they need. Anyways, sorry for the rant. Dr. Torres, <laughs> you said your daughter was with you during the incident? Yes, she was. <laughs> I'll need her information too then. Can you give me her name and date of birth? Okay. Isabella Henderson, July 16, 2009. Henderson. So much going on. <laughs> yes, her father's. My ex-husband. Does she live with you most of the time? No, her father has primary custody. Because of my hours. She stays with me on the weekends. Okay. Bad haircut. <laughs> Tyler Ronan. Good to see you again. You've gotten tall. That usually happens between ages 11 and 21. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, welcome home. Oh, uh, yeah. Thanks. It's been a while. So, what brings you two around? Um. <laughs> We're here to see Chief Brown. Oh, boy. <sighs> what do you do now? Suspects wanted for a felony. <laughs> oh, well, don't forget to read him as Miranda writes. So is there anything I can help you with? How's your day first off? <laughs> Busy day around here? No. Oh, the fire alarm went off three times in the span of an hour this morning. <laughs> I thought the chief was gonna rip that alarm right off the wall. Wait. Oh, wait. wait. Oh, where was I in this report? Ah. Right. Oh, oh, hey, uh, sorry, Tyler. I better finish this or Wilson has a you conniption. Damn it. <laughs> you probably would have said no to the file thing in life. I was already running behind. Of course. It says here you work at Cottonwood Hospital? That's right. That sure is a commute. It's certainly I'm going to interrupt your conversation. <laughs> Hi. Good morning, Tyler. 
Hey, could we talk to you in private? It's a little urgent. Can you excuse me for a second, Dr. Torres? What's going on, you two? We had a few more questions about our mother. Not exactly Wait, urgent, I guess, but... <laughs> well, maybe we can come back later, then? Excuse me. Come on. Guys, I'm understaffed today. I've got a receptionist out sick, an officer excuses, dealing with personal excuses. issues. I need to finish taking this woman's statement, and I don't have time to chat right now. We were just hoping to see answers. <laughs> well, I don't know what more you think I'm going to say. I already told you everything. Really? I need to get back to this complaint. Sorry, guys. Excuses. I hate when he's stubborn like that. So what now? Oh, um. Where were? Well, he's obviously not going. Next question. So I say we go get it ourselves. Where do you think they'd stash her file? I don't know. The archive room? Maybe Eddie's office? Wait, you're not seriously thinking of breaking and entering a police archive? <laughs> go big or go home. All right. Incident report states you called yesterday at 6:13 a.m. So where did it go? Officer Vincenzi was dispatched at home at 6:29 a.m. <laughs> but you couldn't stay to give a statement. Um, I had to be in surgery at nine. I was already running behind. So here's you work at Cottonwood Hospital. That's right. That sure is a commute. It certainly is. Oh, it's it's repeating. <laughs> oh boy, fire drills. Everybody's favorite way to slack off. Hey, is that your desk? Yeah, huh? of course. I didn't think so. Well, listen, <laughs> right. No idea how much we were snooping last night. <laughs> oh. Okay. Security cameras. Oh shit! That's gonna come in play later when we break into this joint. <laughs> Driving our snowbo snowmobile. Oh wait. All well, these are different. Okay. Wow. Um. I'm not gonna read those right now. Let's go upstairs, Tyler. Okay. Thanks for the hint, Allison. <laughs> Everything's fine. We're just, uh, I was just telling Tyler where the upstairs bathroom is. Tyler, help me out here. Oh, uh, yeah. Toilet emergency, lake water, you know, Mother Nature's juice cleanse. <laughs> there's a bathroom just past the break room. Behind you. First door on your right. Forget it, Tyler. There's no way we're getting upstairs out in the open like this. It's too suspicious. There must be another way up. Hey, 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 um... Did he? <laughs> uh, you know, Greg's was talking about a fire drill earlier. Are there any kind oh. of fire exits? Oh my god. Why didn't I think of that? Lobby. Now. Could you go through the full details of your morning with me? Lobby. I woke up. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I gotta go around. So I woke her up at six. I made breakfast. Okay, where are you, Allison? Oh, good. Oh, hi. Allison? Hello? Over here, Tyler. By the map. I I know. Wait. <laughs> now I can talk to you. Wait, no. Hi. Can I can I can I talk to you? Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, we look at this. All right, let's see. There, fire exit. It opens up to a staircase on the side of the building, but it'll definitely be locked from the inside. If one of us were to create a diversion, the other could slip upstairs and open the door. And since you're the troublemaker, I nominate you as the one to make a scene. <laughs> okay. Really? Got a better 
idea? Sure. <laughs> Bad actor. Aren't cops like trained to notice suspicious behavior? I'm not exactly an amazing actor. Figure out something simple and commit. I have faith in you. Thank you. You and Allison. I. Okay, so emergency exit. I just, I guess, I don't need to know where it is. I'm just gonna make a scene. What am I gonna do? Um, can I talk to him? Or... Frick. <laughs> Wait, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Uh... Turn off the lights. Guess I probably can trip the circuit breaker, but I could turn the lights off. Just go. Improvise. Do it! <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Oh, smart, smart. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good acting, Tyler. Good job. Okay, where's Allison? She's off now. What now? Turn right when you exit the station and follow the side of the building. The staircase will be right there. Okay. Turn right. Um. You head now? Um. Uh, yeah, gotta get going. Where's Allison? Um. Bathroom. I'm uh, gonna wait for her outside. All right. See you around. Later. Okay. That was sus. Uh, winter hair. Okay. I'm by the door. Come on. This door. No? Okay. Um... Up, up these stairs, then, I presume. Shit. Where are you? Right here. Open the door. Am I in the wrong place? Get in. Oh god, what did I just do? You took control of your destiny. Okay. Own it. <laughs> okay, I'm right here, Allison. <laughs> you can close the door now. Shit. How old is Brown? Thirty-eight. Oh, wow. Graduated really young. Youngest officer to ever join the DCPD. If Eddie catches us in here, there's no turning back now. Okay, okay. No time. Okay. Looks like this is where Brown keeps all his personal mail. Apartment budgets. Zero case. Looks like he's working with the Office of Child Services on the case. None of our business. Okay. Anything about our mother? Why is Brown on a first name basis with the director of Fireweed? Oh. What'd you find? It's an invoice. Eddie Brown, you'll find and close the final invoice for resident Tyler Ronan. The Fireweed administration would like to thank you for all of the support you've given us over the years. I knew Eddie pulled some strings to send you there, but <laughs> that's a lot of money. More back doors and secret moves. Maybe he didn't want to make you uncomfortable. Well, now I feel like I'm in his debt. Yeah. Does this? You applied to a summer drama program back in 2009. <laughs> I did, but they rejected me. Ah. Oh. Michael and I were supposed to go together. He went, but I was stuck here for the summer. Michael. Justin Bieber for company. <laughs> Well, uh, this letter says you got in. What the hell? So he just turned it down? I'm sorry, Allison. Shouldn't be surprised he's lied to me in the past. What? How dare? Why? What the heck? Huh. The Dallas Police Force is getting a new officer. Finally. I'm not sure this is time. Okay. I'll read that later. You finding anything? No. Okay. Seriously? You're gonna try to hack into his computer? 
We're here for information. It's already open. And computers are basically information pinatas. Whoa. Brown looked at our file this morning. Wait, what? What does that mean? I don't I don't know. But there's a reference number. R68653. Okay. Huh. Tom invited Eddie over for dinner? Oh, yeah. Uh, he's been trying way too hard to get Eddie's endorsement. Does he? Support Tom? He preferred staying neutral. Who's Tom again? <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Please remember your presence is required Wednesday, November 11th. Um, if it's a bias, it's not punishment for dismissal of any spears. Okay, we would like to remind you of your upcoming council meeting on Saturday, blah, blah, blah. Ah, uh, <laughs> you hit re oh, reply all, Sherlock. Da da da, man. Mr. <laughs> this morning, oh shit. <sighs> okay. One of his emails mentioned the archives. That's gotta be where our file is. Aw, look at you. Allison Ronan. Oh! Daughter. Can we stay focused, please? Okay, okay. Let's leave, let's leave. <laughs> I don't want to be here any longer. Oh, what's this? <laughs> Last thing. The police chief of Delos Crossing hosts charity events? Huh? Oh, yeah. The community social. Let's put the Vecchies next to... Can you not just... Okay, okay, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I know this probably is in time, but... I... I, I feel bad. <laughs> okay, hi, Allison. What now? Please tell me you know what the code is. To the highly confidential police archive? Then how am I supposed to open the <sighs> I spent hours playing next to this room. I'd see people go inside all the time. Memory? The keypad does this little tune. Dum da dee do. <sighs> Seriously? Go on, try. Okay, so it he uses zero, one, six, and four. Does it? Well, what if we get it wrong, though? Uh, okay. Can I remember something to help me get through this? Shit. Uh, <laughs> like, oh god, can I? <laughs> I can't save. Like, uh... How did that tune go again? Dum, da, dee, do. How is, is that supposed to be a hint? Dum, da, dee, do. Okay, um... How did that tune go again? Dum, da, dee, do. Okay. No, no. Okay, okay, one is the last one. Okay, six is the first one. <laughs> okay. How did that tune go again? Dum, da, dee, do. Okay. Click, click six. Oh shit, wait, no. <laughs> Okay, six zero. Okay, six zero four one. How did that tune go again? Dum dum mm -hmm. do. Six zero four one. Yay! Yes. <laughs> there we go. Oh, sneaky sneak. <laughs> Looks like they're finally going digital. Oh, that's right. Okay. I remember Eddie complaining about this. They're gonna have to resort everything. Great. They've digitized their closed files, but only the ones before 1990. Meaning? Meaning our file is still somewhere in those boxes. Shit. Perfect. A room of scattered case files and a half ton sorting system. Yep. This is gonna be so fun for you. <laughs> I'm gonna go keep a lookout. Thanks. What? 
Why do I have to be the one stuck with box duty? <laughs> because if anyone sees me, I'll have a better excuse for being there. Yay. Reach out if you need anything. R68653. Look it up. Look it up, she says. Okay. Um Okay. Don't know what to do with this. I already forgot the number. Am I supposed to remember that? Uh, R six something eight three. Um, freaking. Uh, let's just look at all the boxes. R six something. Oh, frick. Can you say it again? Um. Let's see. So it was like something R6, so it should be like. Wait, what is this? Wait, is this it? Nope. Okay, I guess not. How about this one? Not this one either. Uh, where's the. There we go. Oh! <laughs> there it is. Oh shit! Chronological record. Uh, okay, notified by my partner, Officer Kristen Holt. Hey, of accident at uh, twelve Connery Road. A uh, white female identifies as Mary Ronan, falling over deck into lake. Um, Holt and I arrived at scene briefly by patrol officer De Chen. Um, minor's name redacted. Uh, look at witnesses. Uh, children of Mary and Ronan couldn't get a statement from them uh, as they were under dire stress and shock. The children were taken under care of patrol officer. Um, Chrono the skater T. Dickens arrived at scene, ruled prints of victim, crime scene, uh, completed photographs of scene and recovered an unlicensed wrestler shotgun. Okay, bullets recovered from location. Barn. So far, I'm not seeing anything we didn't know already. It does reference some other files and audio recordings, though. You might be able to look those up on the computer. Ah! Even if our file hasn't been digitized yet, they may already have it in the appendix. Okay, coroner took a possession of body. Cleared scene, um, interviewed children, stated after. Miner's name redacted, Ronan's hair was cut by short sister. Minor redacted, Ronan Marianne threatened. Minor redacted, Ronan with a gun. Uh, when Minor redacted, uh, Ronan fled from her. She pursued the child for, to the docks. Minor redacted, Ronan stabbed uh, Marianne Ronan, who was still threatening the child before falling into the river. Oh, witnesses state they called 911 shortly after. Found a uh, canvas crime scene, did not recover a pair of scissors, claimed by. Oh, by my name is Dr. Ronan. For the case, uh, charge my name is Dr. Ronan with homicide. Is that it? Nothing particularly new. Okay. All right, computer. Yes, yes. All right, I'm in. You can search by keywords. What should I look for? I don't know. Mary Ann Ronan, March first, two thousand five. Oh, yep, it's already on the side there. Mary Ann Ronan, March first, two thousand five. Crime report. Autopsy report. Oh wait, ah. Okay, Mary Ann Ronan. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh, right, but <laughs> yes. Uh, crime report. Um, twenty-four hour homicide report. Um, personal information rap sheet. Can I look at three document? Is that it? Okay. References. 
R61889. R61889. Oh, there it is. <laughs> I just clicked on that one. Okay, for the homicide, Marianne. Um, 41. And. Oh, uh, just a bunch of information. On dock at Lake Aside, victim threatened her child with guns. Child stabbed her with a pair of scissors. Victim fell into a lake. Um, my is redacted. All the information. Combined evidence reports. Article shotgun. Yep. Oh, wait. Registered owner. Yeah, Samuel A. Kansky. He did own that gun. <laughs> he did give her the gun. Um, okay. A summary of everything. Wow, this is a real detective novel. He's <laughs> quite the wordsman. He's not a writer, Tyler. Narrative crime summary on March 1st, 2005, at around 2200. 20,000, how do you say that? Oh, yeah, write it out. <laughs> the victim, Marianne Ronan, had a 41 year old white female exited her home and entered her garage to start loading the um, shotgun uh, shortly after her child, Marjorie, rejected. Ronan, 11 years old. Uh, entered the garage to display a new haircut given by sister my trainer Dr. Ronan. According to witness my trainer Dr. Ronan's statement, when she saw the child's haircut, Marianne became enraged and threatened my trainer Dr. Ronan with shotgun my trainer Dr. Ronan fled the garage towards the lake, calling her for help. Marianne followed, still armed, out onto the dock on the southern side of the property. Hearing the noise, witness my trainer Dr. Ronan also came out of the house towards the dock where she observed my redacted Ronan under the threat of Marianne, defending uh, themselves by stabbing Mother with a pair of scissors. At uh, that time, both witnesses state uh, M.A. Ronan lost consciousness, fell into the lake. Um, uh, Christian Holt uh, received a phone call from my redacted Ronan detailing an incident. Uh, Patrol Officer J. Chan. Uh, was dispatched to the scene. Upon arrival, they set up a containment of the scene, began a crime scene log, and started tending to both juveniles. Miner's name redacted, and Miner's name redacted wrote in to <laughs> see their statements for further description and notification of detectives. On March 1st, within five, Rish Officer Christian Hall notified his partner, uh, Officer Eddie, by telephone of the incident before being dispatched to the scene investigation, Holt and Brown arrived at the scene 22 58 hours. They noticed the crime scene was located entirely outdoors. Connery Road is a secluded road, mostly compared, comprised of a few residential cottages. Detectives of hers a loaded Razzler shotgun on the dock. No rounds had been discharged. They directed forensic personnel to recover items. Detectives were directed to witnesses witnesses my name is detective Ronan stated that she heard screaming while she was upstairs in her bedroom that's a lie <laughs> that's a lie she was eating ice cream and she was embarrassed about it <laughs> she ran downstairs and looked over the kitchen window and saw her sibling and her mother Marianne on the docks Marianne was threatening her child with a gun my name is um uh, tried to run away, but Marianne threatened that she was going to shoot. According to both witnesses, she said, I'm gonna kill you. Did she say that? Oh, yeah, she did. I think, yeah. My <laughs> um, instructor then stabbed Ronan, uh, Marianne Ronan, with uh, the pair of scissors trying to escape. Marianne then fell into the water unconscious. Um, okay. Oh, wait, was there more? I think that was it. Well, I can't read anymore, so... Can I use this again? Okay. Ronan children. Let's use all of them. <laughs> no. Um, okay. After the March 1st, tone 5. Um. Been there. Done that. Dallas Crossing Police Department. Hello? 
Hello? Uh, hello. I can hear you. It, it's my mom. She she fell in the water and she's not coming up. Okay, where are you now? Home. Where home? Are you alone? Where's your dad? It's just me and my sister. All right, honey, can you give me your address? Tw 12 Cannery Road. P please, hurry. Just stay right where you are, okay? We're sending someone out to help you. Don't hang up! Oh shit. Okay, um... Uh, already seen this one. Yeah. Oh yeah, um... Okay, Marianne and Eddie Brown. Oh, oh yeah. Report. Bingo. Okay, um, instant report. And, okay. Okay, I need to check out 2005. State your emergency. 2005, 2015, got it. Um, 2005. Um, <laughs> this is all the disorienting. Um, 2005. Wait, was it this one? Not this one either. Okay. Wait, wait. This one. There we go. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here's one of the complaints. Shit. It's from Tessa. She said Marianne was shoplifting. What? And that she had a shoplifting too. I remember going in to get things for her, but she said she'd already paid for them. Oh my Tessa god. also accused her of child neglect. Oh what shit. The hell? Is there any more to that? No, but I'll keep digging. What the freak? Okay. So back to the computer to look up Tessa then. Okay. Oh, He's coming up the stairs. What, do what do I do? What do I do? Um, stall him. <laughs> stall him. No shit, Sherlock. Um, say so one out for smoke. For uh, shit. <laughs> no. Say I went for a smoke. Shit. Okay. Oh god, uh, Tessa, Eddie Brown. Tessa, um, incidents. Recording. Oh, Tessa and Marianne, right? I don't know. Been there, done that. Ah! Uh, Tessa, Ronan Children. Aha. Uh -huh. Hospital dish parts papers. Okay. Um. I don't know what you want, Tessa. I don't know what you want, um, Tessa. Tessa. Yeah, it's only the hospital discharge. References: zero five R sixty eight M I S C. Zero five R sixty eight. Zero five R sixty eight five R sixty eight zero five R sixty eight zero five R sixty eight ah <laughs> zero five R sixty eight damn it <laughs> where is it zero five R sixty eight oh zero oh <laughs> right right. This is it. Or wait, what am I missing? R sixty three. No, that's not it. Are you finding anything? Um. Zero five R sixty eight M I S C. Zero five R sixty eight. Yeah, right here. What? <laughs> 
zero five R sixty eight. What? Oh god. <laughs> I bumped the mic. 05R68. Not this one either. No, that's not it. I don't know what you want from me, Tyler. Nope. Well. Uh <laughs> You know, it'd go a lot faster if you were here to help. No, sorry. It'd go a lot slower if we got caught. So Yeah, maybe it's this one. Yeah, come on. Here we go. Okay, Jesus. <gasps> I'm so nervous. Huh. Okay. Why is that here? I don't know. What is it? Um. Oh yeah, hospital description of symptoms: depression, headache, loss of consciousness, nausea. This is for Marianne. Oh. I, patient name or legal guardian Tessa Vecchi hereby. Release St. Meadow Clinic from liability following the patient as per terms of the release agreement. I have read and understood this hospital release form. Okay. What does that mean <laughs> then? Somebody's sick? I gotta do more Google. Child service. And Marianne, grown and children. Here. Okay. Okay. I need to check out zero five zero one C O M E B R. Zero five zero one C O M B U. Okay. Zero five zero one C O M. Bruh. Uh, zero five zero 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 five. Zero five C yes yeah, uh zero five C okay wait maybe it's an ah zero five not this one either no what was that number zero five C V N C oh wait no that's not it Are you finding anything <laughs> what's the final number again zero five Zero one C O M E B R. C O M E B R. Zero five zero one C V N E B R. Zero five zero one C V N E B R. Zero five zero one C V N E B R. I can't. Okay, zero five. Oh, I didn't see that before. Apparently. Okay. <laughs> this is intense music. Unbelievable. Oh my god. And Eddie went along with it. What? Where are you? Jess is a freaking bitch. Um okay. Wow. Okay. Wow. Now back to the computer again. I would just gotta look at as much as we can before we get caught. <laughs> like, um, child service, Tessa, Ronan, and children, Marianne. I think that's a. Bingo. Oh. This is Officer Eddie Brown. Oh shit. Hello, Officer Brown. This is Simone Prue from the Office of Child Services. Hello, Mrs. Prue. I'm calling about the Ronan family. Oh shit. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that we will be moving forward with the case. Uh, I see. Is there anyone additional we should interview while we're in the area? Yeah, um, Samuel Kansky is a close friend of the family. Uh huh. K A N S. K Y. Great. Your caseworker. I have to talk to Annika. We'll be arriving on March 5th. She'll drop by the station first thing in the morning. Mrs. Prue. How worried should we be? Mm, I really can't say until I have a full picture of the situation. Of course. Well, have a good afternoon, Mrs. Prue. You too, okay. sir. I just listened to Brown chatting with OCX. He really did it. He reported her. What if he was just a go-between? He might not have had a choice. We need to keep digging. Ah, okay. Okay. 
Recording. Eddie Brown. Child service. Okay, what? Ronan children. Ronan and children. <laughs> Eddie Brown. Uh, child service. Incidents. Recording. I'm really uh, a loss of thought for you. Um, there might be other references on the computer. Okay, I gotta keep looking using the freaking tags. Oh my god. Oh, I'm supposed to choose four tags. Okay. Oh, Sam. <laughs> I didn't see his name added there. Okay. Sam Eddie Brown. Okay. Um, okay. Complaints? L. Kansky? Who's L. Kansky? Okay. References 2014 201 496. 2014. I've seen some 2014s. 2014. Wait, which? I've already forgot. No, that's not it. Nope. Are you finding anything? Uh, my file number <laughs> just told me again. 2014. 201 496. Okay, 2014. 2014. 06. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay, here it is. <laughs> like all all these are conveniently labeled. Okay. Um location occurrence. Street name uh, on patrol approximately zero one three Zero hours, I've served a light blue, loose Chevy, super sport, with police sides, performed rolling stop, through the stop sign at Colin Boulevard. Okay. As I gave the order, the vehicle accelerated, reaching speed 78 miles per hour. I pursued the vehicle approximately three minutes as it rounded the cannery facility and headed northwest at Kinkhead Road. <laughs> uh, the a vehicle jumped a curb into the parking lot of the Guess no shopping center. At that moment, the driver side door opened while the vehicle was still in motion. The driver jumped out and began running towards the lady bait shop. Uh, excuse me, I ex exited my vehicle, gave my pursuit on foot, whereby I was able to subdue the drivers. Mr. Samuel Kamsky. Um, Mr. Kamsky was observed to have bloodshot eyes and a ruddy complexion. I also detected the odor of an alcoholic beverage. Mr. Kamsky declined to cooperate with the breath test. He stated, Old Sam don't put his lips on nothing that doesn't have beer at the bottom. Kamsky was transported to the Dallas Precinct without further incident. Hmm. Yes, drinking problems. Yes. I'm sorry, Tyler. I couldn't stop him. Oh shit! Where do I go? Get out, Uncle. I. We didn't mean I'm to. I'm not going to repeat myself. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Oh shit! I said move it. Oh shit! Please don't arrest hey. me. Hey, get off me! Rather spend the night here. Come on! I said don't fucking touch me. Go on. Consider yourselves lucky, your family. Are you kidding me? <laughs> you want to talk about family, Eddie? I guess family calls social services when you're having a hard time, huh? Shit. And then breaks the law to gloat that you're going to lose your fucking kids. Okay, okay. It's fault she lost it, Eddie. Okay. You and Tessa and everyone else in this goddamn town. Shit. Okay. Let's talk. Now everybody knows. <laughs> For shit. The winter before your mother's death was... hard.
Devil's Crossing was snowed in for months. Most roads were closed and plane supplies were scarce. Everyone was struggling. Especially Marianne. Yeah. <laughs> he can't sit on a couch properly. <laughs> and that winter left nothing to scrape up. Even if locals had found time to help her. Uh, um, I'm not sure your mother would have accepted. Oh, I don't know. So, she was struggling through the snowstorm of the century, and you reported her to social services? Tessa came to me and reported potential child neglect. As a sworn officer, I am required by federal law to report the allegation to OCS. So you took her word for it and called child services. Failure to provide adequate food, lack of appropriate supervision, inattention to a child's psychological care. Like it or not, she had a case. What? It's bullshit. Mm. Just following the law then. Right. Is that why you came over that day before she died? You felt shitty, didn't you? Uh -huh. That's why you broke procedure? I had to warn her that it was happening and that it wasn't looking good. Oh yeah, that's why she was sad. An assessment services. worker had been assigned and started doing background checks. What else was I supposed to do? I thought always telling each other the truth was our number one rule. Still is, little moose. And yet you still lied. I didn't want you two putting yourselves through unnecessary hurt. <laughs> Too late. You're adults, and that was your choice to make. I'm, I'm truly sorry. Thank you, Uncle. It's bullshit. <laughs> um. Just like that, huh? Must be nice to have a daughter who lets you off the hook that easy. Eddie, you keep trying to point your finger at Tessa, but you have to take responsibility for your part in our mother's death. I've asked myself over and over for the past 10 years what I could have done different. I know I made a big mistake with you two here. And you've got every right to be angry. Being a father, well, it's a pretty tough job. I've tried my best, and I'd like to try my best with you too, Tyler, if you want it. I'm open to getting there, hmm. but it's going to take some time before we're a big, happy family. <laughs> yeah. I respect that. It's hard work rebuilding trust. But you've got a place here whenever you need it. What's the significance of that ring again? Oh, right. Because he, he gave him the ring. Uh, no. <laughs> Absolutely not. In the first episode, uh, Allison gave it to Tyler. Um... Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And I'm as wicked as it gets. I'll see you both later. Tyler, what's up? Hi. So uh, I saw the invoice from Fireweed. All right, right there. Through my stuff. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I. Uh, we don't have to talk about it. Oh. Uh. Actually. No. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna let you tough guy your way out of this. You mm. didn't have to do that, but you did. And going to Fireweed was everything. So, thank you. Okay? <laughs> okay, Tyler. You're welcome. 
Uh, we'll see you around. Well, see you around then. You know where to find me. All right. Should we go? Yeah. I just want to get out of this place, honestly. Well, that went better than I was afraid it would. <laughs> creek, creek. Oh, hi. You two on your way out? Yeah, we oh. got to get to. Allison. You ready, Allison? <laughs> yep. Let's roll on. I was in her way, so she had to take her to fall. Sure. See you around. See you later. Okay. Okay, I shouldn't. I shouldn't snoop on the computer. <laughs> Let's just go. Let's just go, Allison. Come on. Okay. Honestly. Allison. What? You feel like shit. How can you tell? Because I feel like shit. We're connected. What are we gonna do about Tessa? Nothing. Look, we're not gonna do anything. That's enough, Tyler. Talk to Tessa. Why? What are you looking for? What are you expecting her to say? I thought she loved us. Yeah, Tessa's really? probably the worst well, person here, is honestly. It true? Is she? Oh my god. Ch children, I. Tessa. Tessa, you need to leave. Come on, kids. Everything is going to be all right, okay? You're going to be okay, I promise. Go home. You can't be here right now. Mm, it's supposed to be a one, oh like right after the accident. Oh, oh God. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, now she, she blame, she's blaming herself. Great, everybody's blaming themselves. Achievement, cold case. That do doesn't seem like a good thing. Uh. We're back here! Everybody. Tessa's gotta be around somewhere. I need water. I'm hearing something. Well, at least we know the entire world didn't vanish. Michael, are you here? But given who is here, we can't count out the rapture quite Yes! <laughs> Michael! My mom, my, 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 my dude. I'm gonna do my man, my dude. I can find Tessa. Okay? On it. <sighs> Fine. Fine. But I want to talk to Michael. <laughs> well, finishing up, what do I see? A big old bull moose staring. Hey, guys. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Morning. Hi. What were you guys talking about? <laughs> I don't think you'd be interested. No, Prito. Hi. Can I talk to you? I love your sweater. You two just can't stay away, huh? Unfortunately. We're looking for Tessa again. Well, she took off about half an hour ago. Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh. Do you know if she'll be back soon? I don't know if she's even coming back. No one tells me anything. Why are you... Nodding your head like that. <laughs> How about Tom? He busy? He's been in the office all morning, so who knows? But it's Tom, so it's probably safe to interrupt him. Okay. Bye bye. Oh, hello. Doing some shopping? Um. Have we met you Just before? Looking for the woman who runs the place? The shopkeeper's wife? Can't say I've seen her around. Have a nice day, sir. Hmm. Oh, yo, yo. Gosh, I'm definitely splitting this into two parts. Uh, we could use some of that at the house. OJ? Yeah. Can I run? <laughs> like, Tom, was it? Right, Tom Tom was mentioned in one of the reports. I can't remember who he was at the time. <laughs> Not good with names, okay? Oh. This is different. I don't remember this carpet. What do you mean? We've got enough signatures. It should have at least been enough to stall construction while we figure uh -huh. out our next move. 
Well, why don't we schedule a meeting with the Alaska Wildlife Foundation? Try to get their support. Look, Harold, I have to go. We can pick this up at the meeting. I should be on my way over soon. Hi, Tom. Hello, Tyler. Uh, can I help you? Um, yes. <laughs> Do I have to go around the desk? There we go. <laughs> hey, I hope this isn't a bad time, but is Tessa around today? She had to step out for a family matter. This wouldn't be something I could help with, would it? Not yeah, exactly, maybe. but... Actually, uh, we were over at the police station and we took a look at Marianne's case file. <clears throat> okay. Um... Just get down to it, I guess. <laughs> Tessa reported Marianne to social services. Did you know? Vaguely. But I didn't get involved. I, I didn't think I really had anything to add. You never thought to mention it? Well, no. I'm not sure how a thing like that would have come up. And I didn't want to rub salt in any wounds. Huh. How about when we were in the store yesterday asking about it point blank? That was between you and Tessa. I try to stay out of other people's affairs. Okay. Who's Tessa at the station? Why did Tessa come to the police station that night? She was looking for you two. To make sure you were okay. When she heard what happened, she was a mess. How exactly did she hear about it so fast? Can't remember who called, but you know how it is. No news travels faster than a secret. Everyone <laughs> knew five minutes after Brown was on his way out. Okay. Thank you, Tom. Okay. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry if you felt... Resistance from people around here. To put it mildly. Allison, you know this better than anybody. But your mother's death left a scar on this community. Now, I won't claim we went through anything close to what you did, but it was a cruel reminder of the limits of trust. Okay. Well. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. We need to know what really happened. You deserve that. And I'm sorry if some folks have been less than helpful, but you've got to give people time. Especially Tessa. Now, you let me know if you have any other questions, okay? Oh, hi! <laughs> yes? You said I should remind you not to be late for your meeting, so... Don't be late. Uh, <laughs> yep, yep, I'll be on my way in a minute. What? So, kids, was there uh, anything else you two wanted to talk to me about? Did you ever hear any rumors about our mother? Like, who our father might have been? Oh, right. Well, I'm not exactly a rumor monger. Your mother was close to a few men, but whether they were your father, I couldn't say. A secret for another day. But look, I... Oh, gosh. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I really have to go. Uh, Michael, uh, can you finish <laughs> up the storage room and then just uh, close up? Hey, it's sure thing, boss man. See you later. Bye-bye. You two want to help a brother out, spend the afternoon here working for free? Um... <laughs> <laughs> we came here to talk to Tessa, and she's not here. Uh, she she's at the cemetery, uh, visiting her parents. Um, oh. Hey, tell you what. Why don't you guys help me close the store, and then we can drive over together. I've been meaning to pay my uncle a visit. Can we just wait for her to come back here? I, I'm not really excited about going there. Probably should disturb her while she's doing don't that. Have to yeah. visit her grave. I'm gonna start working in the storage room. Tyler, join me when you're done. Okay. Sure thing. Just give me a sec. Gosh, I've been recording for a long time, but I don't know where to stop. No. Where'd that question about our father come from? Uh. I'm curious what he knows. <laughs> I've just been thinking about who he might be. And if he knows anything that could help us figure this shit out. 
Why? He wasn't a part of our lives. Besides, Marianne always said we never had a father. Well, her name might have been Mary, but I don't think she was a likely candidate for Immaculate Conception. Uh, hey, so you look less than thrilled with the plan. Yeah, like I said, I am not stoked to be going to the cemetery. Yeah. I know, but I'll be there too. And Michael. I'm not sure I want to drag him into this. Hey, he offered. He wants to be there for you. <laughs> for me, huh? Well, we need to get this door closed, so go give him a hand. Okay. <gasps> okay, wow, well, I'm gonna leave that there. I need a stretch. <laughs> so, yeah, next time. Well, how about Michael? Michael in the storage room. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so I'll see, I'll see you next time. Have a nice day. Bye bye.